Hey everyone and welcome back to Disney in Detail and today I'm going to be talking about All Star Music Resort. So when I went on my recent trip in November and December 2018 we stayed there for a week. It was my first time staying at All Star Music and in fact in any of the All Star resorts. So I just wanted to make this video to show you some of the footage, show you the room, um, talk about what my thoughts were about the resorts and this resort is actually going to be getting an update to the rooms. I believe it's going to be over the next 18 months. They've already been begun the refurbishment at All Star Music, I think, uh, movies, sorry, I think All Star Sports is next and I believe All Star Music will be last um, and like I said, I think they're planning on having it done um, some point in 2020, I believe, and the rooms are going to be made the same as the new ones at Disney's Pop Century and I've stayed in those rooms as well, they are really nice, so I think it's great that they are making these rooms the same, just giving it a really fresh new look because the rooms do need updating, that was the first thing I was going to say, we enjoyed our stay and um, I'll talk a bit more and show you the rooms uh, but they d definitely do need updating you can tell that they haven't been done for a while so first of all just about All Star Music so there are three resorts if you didn't know All Star Sports, All Star Movies and All Star Music like I just mentioned um, they are all kind of next to each other you can walk easily from one to the other and they are Disney's value resorts um, or they're I should say they're within Disney's range of value resorts there are a couple of others and they are very themed so everything around the resorts at all three of them are giant oversized um, you have movies obviously there's giant characters um, at the music one um, you've got the Calypso section which is where we stayed and this kind of giant maracas outside so everything is larger than life so it's a really popular hotel for families kids love the theming and it's just a great price point as well if you do want to stay at Disney you get all of the um, benefits of staying at a Disney resort, so Magical Express, the extra magic hours, the 60 day fast pass window, but it's, it makes it a lot more affordable for people because some of the other Disney resorts are very expensive, so you can get a very good deal at these resorts. Um, you don't often get things like the free dining because you need to be staying at the moderate or deluxe, but sometimes they have offers for like free breakfast, I think, at these resorts, and other times you can get room discounts, um, like free nights and things like that, so always look out for offers. So onto the actual resort, we stayed in a preferred room, so we were in the Calypso section, which is as you come out of the main lobby and food court building, it's kind of the first section that you see, and the preferred rooms are just closer to the bus stop, the food court, and the main lobby, so it just means that there's not as far to walk because some of the furthest rooms are a little bit of a walk none of them are too far in my opinion but if it's something that you don't like to do or if you have any issues with walking and stuff you might want to look at a preferred room and they're not normally that much more expensive than a standard room so this is what an all-star music room looks like um, like I said the decor does need updating but you have um, two queen beds and I think in some of the rooms particularly the accessible ones you can get one king bed and you also have a table and chairs there's a TV unit with some drawers, um, obviously you do have a TV there, you also have a refrigerator, there is no coffee making in these rooms so just be aware of that and there's also a getting ready area so you have the sink outside of the bathroom so that can be quite handy obviously if someone's in the shower then someone else can be using the sink then you have a wardrobe area where you've got an ironing board the safe is also there just to warn you the safe is very small so you won't be able to get much in there and then the bathroom is a shower over the tub and they've changed the toiletries you no longer get the ones in kind of small travel size bottles it's all in refillable ones we actually found the beds very comfortable we were able to get a really good night's sleep. The new rooms will actually have one bed and then a pull down bed, which also doubles up during the day when you fold it away as a small table and it just creates more space in the room. So that would be really nice when that's done. I did think there was a bit of a lack of power outlets in the room, but that's another thing in the new rooms. They have lots of USB as well as power outlets everywhere. So it's much easier to charge phones and plug in any other things that you need to use. And all of the buildings have vending machines. I think it might be on every other the floor I'm not entirely certain about that and they do have ice machines as well there are lifts in this resort so if you are managing your own luggage then you can easily get up and down to the higher floors they do have bell services at this resort if you do need help with your luggage and um, we did find that they took a little longer than at the deluxe resorts so I assume they just have less people um, you know handling the luggage so maybe that's why but bell services is available onto the kind of general areas of the resort so the food courts um, we did find really 
really good they had lots of options it does get very busy at breakfast lunch and dinner the kind of peak times of day so just be aware of that it can feel a little chaotic when you are trying to manage what you're ordering and then getting yourself to the register to pay and all that kind of thing so just to manage that expectation it is quite busy they do have a good range of meals but we didn't find it as good as pop century and um, art of animation i've stayed at both of those the main thing that i noticed that was missing that i really love is the create your own pasta and create your own salad so they didn't have either of those options um, which i did really miss because i love both of those but we did use the food court regularly to get drinks we had the refillable mugs and they had lots of stations for coffee and soda so we didn't ever find that it was difficult to get to it even at busy times we found that everything was always very clean there was plenty of seating in there so that worked really well and i think for a value resort the food court was pretty good we didn't eat a lot of meals there but the ones that we did the food was nice it was hot uh, so yeah perfectly good we were happy with the food courts and they do have a merchandise store at the resort and i really really liked this store it was really well laid out the cast members who worked there were great at keeping everything looking perfect it looked really nice and they had some really interesting stuff there were a couple of bits that i don't think i saw elsewhere and we did use that store quite a bit they have items um, i needed super glue at one point and anything in terms of you know headache tablets any toiletries you might have missed they do have um, things like that that you can pick up they also have pins they had some clothing in there so there was a good range of stuff if you needed to grab something we didn't actually use the pool on this occasion we were there in November and December and it was quite cold the week that we were there so we didn't experience it the pool did look great I did see people in there again it's very themed one thing to note if you are in a preferred room so you're obviously going to be close to that main pool and the main um, building we have the food court and everything they do play music um, all day out there and it is all star music after all um, but the music is reasonably loud not too loud you're not kind of in your room thinking oh my gosh this is like awful and it's nothing like that um, but just be aware that they do play music all day so if you don't like that you might want to ask for a room away from the pool areas and we found the front desk to be very efficient when we checked in and I did need to go there several times because I did have some packages delivered to the resort often when I'm coming from the UK there are items that I want to buy in the States but the shipping is very expensive so I do sometimes get packages shipped to my Disney resort which is something you can do you just need to make a note on the shipping label of um, reserve or hold for guest arriving and then the date so just make sure you have that on the package the one thing to note about the all-star resorts all of the packages and things like that go to a central location so when you go to the desk to pick it up it might not have made it actually to the resort yet so there were a few items that took longer than I'm used to when I've been at other Disney resorts you kind of go to the desk and it's there they just go and grab it um, but all star music it did take a couple of days longer for it to appear and they often would just put it in the room I didn't have to necessarily go to the desk to pick it up and they do charge you five dollars per package if you've put a credit card on your booking like when you check in they will just charge it to your card um, I hadn't actually set that up when we checked in so I did get a phone call to my room um, when I had the first package arrive and they said obviously that I needed to go and pay the five dollar charge which was fine um, but you can like I say set that up when you check in and they will just charge it to you but just bear in mind if you order something for like next day delivery while you're there it's not going to necessarily get to you next day it does take a minute for them to process it and get it to the hotel but the customer members at the desk were always really nice really friendly very very helpful there were always enough people there so we were really impressed with that in addition to the food court there is also a bar and that is located by the pool you can get cocktails there they did seem to be open quite long hours not usually first thing but they seem to be open later into the evening so the next thing to mention is transportation so obviously you can use Disney's Magical Express as you can with any Disney resort and the buses to get to and from the parks we found very efficient there is no other transportation like boats or monorails it is buses from this resort and all of the bus stops are kind of lined up out the front they have all of the parks Disney Springs the week that we were staying there we didn't experience any long lines for buses just bear in mind though that if you are traveling at busy times of the year like Easter Christmas during the summer spring break and times like that and if you are traveling to the parks first thing in the morning then the buses are going to be busy there probably will be long lines and some 
sometimes a bus will come and you might not be able to get on that one you might have to wait for the next one and that can be super frustrating when you just want to get to the parks but you know it's just how it is when it's busy sometimes we notice the resorts shared a bus so if we were coming back from a certain park it would go to all three then we had a couple of occasions when it was busier the bus did just go directly to our resort so i don't know how they manage all of that but disney are very efficient with their transportation and uh, yeah we found the buses to be really good the other transportation option you do have is obviously chargeable which is uber or to get a cab i would recommend uber they are a lot cheaper than using cabs and i really favor using them in orlando we use uber all of the time i do have a separate video on that i'll put up a card and i will link it below and i do also have a code for you to get some money off your first uber journey if you are signing up for the first time so i'll also put that below but we use them like i said all the time and you get your uber from the very front of the hotel not where the buses are so you just go back into the main lobby and out to the very front where the magical express drop you off when you first arrive at the hotel and that is where you will get your uber from um, but we use them all the time and that is another option like i say you do have to pay but if there is an occasion where you really quickly need to get to a breakfast reservation or you're coming back from the parks and you're just too exhausted to stand in line for the bus and you just want to get an uber that is an option that we used quite a lot and on the subject of uber if you are wanting to eat at the hotel and you don't really like any of the options in the food court we did actually use uber eats on several occasions where you can download the app same as uber and they have options for local restaurants off disney property we love uno and we did have a slightly dodgy experience from TGI Friday um, but usually when I use Uber Eats it's great you can get McDonald's delivered anything and um, there's so many different restaurants so um, that is another option and if you get Uber Eats you would go and meet them in the same place as they would pick you up um, at the very front of the hotel if you are getting an Uber to travel anywhere so you just go and meet them and they drop off the stuff so if you do fancy something a little bit different that is an option as well and again I do have a code to get some money off your first order so I'll link that below as well so the other thing I wanted to mention was mousekeeping usually you would expect um, housekeeping or mousekeeping in this case to come into the room every day make the beds and that kind of thing and they do give you the option now at some Disney resorts I don't know if it's all of them to opt out of housekeeping and have a gift card instead i'm trying to remember i think they offered us a 60 dollars gift card for a seven night stay if we were to not have housekeeping we decided that we would have mousekeeping and we didn't want to take the gift card but it's completely up to you they don't push you either way it's just an option if you are happy to you know make your own bed and do all that kind of thing i think they will come in and do towels every so many days i can't remember um, but they explain it to you at the front desk and if it's an option at the hotel you're staying at it certainly was for us at all star music then you can choose and they will ask you that when you're checking in and on the note of mousekeeping one other thing i did want to mention i did find that they were knocking on the door quite early in the morning in my opinion now i know they do have to start early because they have so many rooms to do but very often they would kind of knock on the door we would be in the middle of getting ready and before we'd even got to the door to say to them oh sorry we're just still getting ready they were letting themselves in and obviously sometimes you might have just got out of the shower or something so that was kind of weird i don't know if that was just our stay it could be just the individual person who was kind of you know dealing with our room on a daily basis that they were super keen <laughs> to get in there um, but we did notice that a few times but it wasn't a big deal you know as if we said to them you know can you come back it was cool but just to bear in mind they did seem quite keen to get in in the morning that was just our experience so i think those are the main things that i wanted to cover in this video please let me know in the comments if you have any questions about all star music and i will try to answer them as best i can or about pop century or art of animation any of the um, results that i've stayed in i'm happy to try and help with anything that I can. I do have vlogs every Saturday at the moment of our trip in November and December and I just want to thank you guys for all your amazing comments on them so far. You seem to be really enjoying them. I absolutely loved the trip. I loved filming it, editing it and sharing it with you all. So thank you so much as always for your support with my videos. It's just means so much to me and you are all amazing. If you're new to the channel and you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to make sure you don't miss out on any of my videos. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday and I do have another trip coming up in May. So I will be so excited to share that with you as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.